Hey guys, we are here to listen to the fourth vocal track of Sonic Frontiers, and it's actually the main theme of the game, I'm Here, but it's much longer, there's an instrumental part to it, as you fight the Supreme Titan boss fight. Now, we're going to get into it a bit later, but this song is just above and beyond everything else to me, so I'm really excited to react to it with you guys. Let's get right into it. Before we do, you want to hit like, and more importantly, you want to hit subscribe. I'm your number one source of all Sonic the Hedgehog news. My Sonic Frontiers review is coming out very soon. I know it's not exactly the time the Sonic Frontiers came out, but I put a lot of time into this. This is going to be a much more in-depth review than a brief overview. So you need to be hitting that subscribe button. Come get your Sonic goodness over here. And yeah, let's react to this thing. Okay. I love this intro. It's it's so melodic. It fits the mysteries surrounding the Starful Islands and you know what exactly is going on. I think it really works with the plot. It's it's very mystical. I do really enjoy that. But this is just a prelude and a pot of teeth and a mose bush. Because just goes so hard it's like every hit of the drum is a punch that Sonic is landing it's, oh so good and we go back into that melodic bit and I, I do really like the melodic parts of it but this song goes harder than all the others and it just more than as I've said many times it has any right to this build up and you're hearing this as you're fighting the last of them controlled by the very end itself and oh I love it that, I just love that melody and you don't really hear it in the vocal version because Mary's voice is, is overpowering it but it's just it's like a superhero kind of song you know mixed with a lot of anime a lot of dragon Ball. Oh, that solo, man. God damn. I'm going to pause a second. They fully, when writing this, were like, okay, we need something that's going to be a bit mysterious, but also, like, give it that anime vibe. And, and Mary Kirk Holmes, and, and I think it was Satoshi who um, was the musical director on this. It's like, hold my beer. God damn. Oh my god. This is inspiring this song to me. It's just amazing. I love it so much. Then we come back in. Come back in for Mary to pick up the mic and give it a go. Um, I discovered Mary Kirk Holmes through this song. He is amazing. I started listening to Two Octavia a little bit and they're an amazing band, so please do go and check them out if you enjoy this song. Love this again, telling the story of, of what's going on here. And that line in particular, particularly with Sonic's destiny over the course of the game. I love it so much. Beautiful to me, it really is. I'm just gonna pause on a second. I think I am the first DJ in the world to play the full version of I'm Here in a nightclub. I have no evidence to back that up, but I just can't imagine anyone else going and doing that vibe as I did. And I played Undefeatable. Because this soundtrack goes harder than anything. 
And that's the weird thing. I was having this discussion with my friend Houston that if these weren't songs that were released with a Sonic game, if these were like singles released by these bands, they would be at the top of everyone's radar right now. That's how good the quality is. And that's not saying because that's not knocking Sonic and saying because it's attached to Sonic. But, you know, when do you see video game music chart? Really? It's, it's not really a thing. If it had been released as independent signal, singles uh, sorry, from the bands, this, these songs would be like everyone would be singing. I actually prefer the second verse. I love it. There's, I love the kind of growl here, the loss of it into this. Oh. Again, it ties in with everything. I love that line, that's the embodiment of Sonic. And the story of, you know, what's going on here again. These lines here mean so much to me, and I think we'll talk about that after. Oh, it just makes me want to, like, scream. It's so good, guys. This is the best Sonic vocal track we've ever had. I know a lot of people are going to shoot me hate in the comments, and I'm sorry, but I have my credentials, okay? 30 years with this franchise. No, not quite 30. I love how this rounds it out. The finality of the quest. As if we're about to deliver a crushing blow. That is I'm Here. The full supreme version. Now, let's talk about it. Okay, guys. It's no secret that I love this song. I've gushed over it so, so much. I've made everyone I can listen to it. It is just one of my favourite songs, maybe of all time. It, it, I definitely think it is my favourite song in the franchise. And you know me, you, you know, if you, if you stop by the streams, if you stop by these videos, I use a lot of Sonic music. I love Sonic music. I will listen to it just on my day to day. I will go running to Sonic music. I will, you know, sing along to sonic music all day i like I, I love that kind of stuff and this just hits different for me and i think one big aspect of this is like it's it's sonic singing it to you it seems like it comes from his perspective and i really love that for the for the main theme of the game and the whole lines of um once again we'll start our story anew don't be afraid i will be with you has really kind of meant a lot to me as I've been on the circuit with Sega taking this game to, to shows, uh, Comic Con, uh, the, uh, M no, what was it? Comic Con, EGX, sorry, EGX, Paris Games Week. Uh, it's just, it's a journey that I feel I've been on with Sonic. You know, this character doesn't actually exist. And uh, it's just, this song, I think, has become so important to me because it's almost been like my journey with Sonic. This is the first time I've ever really done this kind of thing as I've been working for Sega this year. And it just, you know, a new world, a new a new life, and I'm here. It, it, I, it sounds really corny, but it all just really kind of matches up for me. And I, I really, really just... I love this song so much. What did you guys think of this song? Let me know down in the comments. I want to see what you've got to think about it. That really does help with the engagement, guys, and helps other people see it. Please slap a like on it. It'll take you less than a second. And, of course, the biggest one, as I said, to hit the subscribe button. We must get to 2,000 subs before the Sonic Frontiers DLC comes out. That is my new target. If we could do it before Christmas, that would be amazing. I'd really appreciate that. So hit the subscribe button. I'm your number one source of Sonic the Hedgehog news. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care out there. Bye for now. I'm here, reaching